Welcome back to the Combat Only Iron Man. This is episode 5. For anyone who hasn't been following along, this is my RuneScape 3 Iron Man that I'm progressing through PVM. There's no skilling and no quests. We are surviving and progressing solely from what we get as drops and by training the combat skills. In the last episode, we managed to get to 50 ranged and 50 defense. After that, we ran the gauntlet to get to Dagnoth Rex to get our first boss kills. We managed to get there and get our first 10 kills, stocking up on a few of the bones, which we'll see later in this episode. At the moment, we're on our way back out to the swamp to see if we can get our U upgrade, our U shortbow. Now, just a quick pit stop into God Wars Dungeon 2 here to see if there's a safe spot on these stairs, because we can get a magic shortbow from here eventually. So I can't kill these abyssal demons, but I was just testing to see if they got stuck there, and it doesn't look like they did. I won't venture any further down there right now because I know we'll get slaughtered. So here we are, back at the swamp. Let's see how we go killing these zombies again. Hopefully we get lucky and get the short bow pretty quickly. Better take the AOE abilities off just in case. Because it doesn't look like we're killing them too effectively at the moment. Okay, so we didn't get too many kills there and the desert is starting to kill us. You better head back to the bank and bring some food out. Alright, so we brought some food back. We did 10, 15 kills. And that is the U short bow. I guess it's time to go and get some arrows for it. See if we can get some adamant arrows from the Enko in the bottom of the stronghold of security. We're just going to tidy up this bank first, I think. It's looking a bit messy. And there we go, that's looking a lot better. I did start putting all the tabs there like I have for my main with all the different types of things in the banks, but then I realized that I don't need them on this account. So everything that we don't need has just been dumped into a loot tab. And then we've just got the three tabs that we need. All right, let's head over to the stronghold. It's been a while since I've been down here. Don't think we can go through these portals until we're after. Oh, we did get through. I know I haven't been through there before, so I don't know. Maybe they updated it. Okay, looks like it must be level based to skip the floors. Not sure if that's a new thing or not. I probably always did this on a fresh account first up anyway. When I did do it. It's nice that the doors aren't asking us questions anymore anyway. should look at a few of the mobs in here later on and see what we can do. 
some of them might be good for training and some resources and stuff. We'll look into it later on. I'm not collecting the chests either. Alright, bottom floor, let's go this way, this way. Level 61, we might be able to kill them. Might be able to find a safe spot in that room by the look of it with all them bones. But I want to head over and get the fancy boots first. Not to use, but to keep as a cosmetic to put in a keepsake box one day to go with the fancy hat. Colourful, please. There we go. Got the boots. And nowhere near as good as what we got anyway, so it's not cheating even if we did use them. But we'll just hang on to them until we get some keys. Can we stand to safe spot? Not in there. Nope. Over there. Oh, didn't mean to click on you, sorry dude. Are we going to get destroyed? They do hurt. I think we can manage. one down some death runes that's nice oh those bones over there that looks like a safe spot as long as we can fire across them oh I think that was my bad come on get behind here well, the animation looks slow for some reason Maybe he's just big brain. And we can't go in there. Alright, back around here. He's got to get stuck this time. And there we go. Hopefully we can shoot across. Perfect. Okay. This is going to work out. got coins 1.6k that's nice that is gonna help if they keep dropping that frequently all right so we've got a full inventory of loot now we've got a bit of salvage some food we've got a piece of the skull scepter as well so that's nice something we can work on one day we might come back and get the rest of it and we've got 100 adamant arrows now so i think i'm gonna make that do i don't plan on using ranged immediately Oh, and we got tagged. So my clan plays a game of tag, and we tag each other by trading. So that means that I'm it. Basically the same as real life. One person is it, and everybody else runs around. So let's go and get rid of that before we continue. Alright, so we got rid of the tag on the way. We are no longer it. So we're just heading up into the wizard tower now because I got told in the comments that these lesser demons drop a black hatchet. So that'll be handy for tier 25 melee. So we'll just see how we go.
All right, first skill, what do we get? Black 2H, oh, that's way better than a hatchet. Lucky I brought the runes for telekinetic grab. All right, so after we got the two-ended sword, I had a thought and I completely forgot about Black Knight. So it turns out they drop pretty much everything that we're gonna need for melee, at least at this stage. And I thought there were two outside the front of here. Doesn't look like there is. Don't think we can go in here, but I'm gonna try anyway. Hey, you can't come in here. All right, mate. We'll head over to your other base. I don't think we'll get slaughtered running around here. I'm pretty sure it's all low level stuff. Hopefully it goes all right. I didn't bring any food. Okay, all is going well. I thought we would have taken a fair bit more damage coming past the lessers and those axes there. But we're fine. Let's see how we go on Black Knights. Weak to magic, that's perfect. Don't have any water runes though, but should be fine. Yeah, okay. These guys are going to be easy. Alright, there we go. Full inventory of loot. And level 55 magic coming in. So that's kind of big. High level alchemy. That's awesome. So I kept killing these guys well beyond when I needed to stop. Uh, just because the body and the legs acts for a couple of K. So stocking up on some coins. Oh yeah, 55 magic is wild magic as well, so that's good. So I was on the way back out to the Black Knights again to get the boots, and then I realized that they don't drop the boots. So now we're just going to get a load of bones from these hill giants. So they are quite easy to kill, so it shouldn't take too long to get a load of bones. Nice XP as well. And there we go, a full load of bones. Let's head back to the bank and grab our bones and head out to the wilderness altar. I'll just quickly tidy up the black items that I just picked up. Here we go at the Chaos Altar. We should power through some levels here. Hopefully get close to level 43. That would be kind of big for the account at the moment. Definitely what we need for doing barrows. Having the protection prayers will help, especially doing it in the gear that we're going to be attempting it at. So there's 35 prayer coming in straight away. And 36, insanely fast. Maybe I didn't need to bury all the bones up until now. Just waited until I had big bones and Dagnoth bones. 37 prayer coming in. That is protect from magic and I can't move it for some reason. That must have been because I was doing something. 
All right, onto the dragon bones. Level 38 prayer. Oh, what did I do? Trade. Why did I trade? We don't trade on this account. We don't trade anything on this account. All right. Some more bones. Oh, it's so nice watching that progress bar go up so much every bone. The rush of numbers going up. It's what we all love. And there we go, 39 prayer. We're going to get 40 with this load. Looks like it. Yes, let's go. 40. Protect from range. Awesome. All right, back to the bank. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, he's not a bank. He might be an achievement. Can't use him. All right. We got it right this time. We're banking and not trading. <laughs> not too many bones left. Hopefully we'll get to maybe 41. We'll definitely get to 43 the next time we do Dagonoth Rex. So if anyone's wondering why my cursor keeps going off the screen, it's just because most of the progress that I've done on this account is on my second monitor. So pretty much everything I've done so far, I haven't done with 100% focus. It's just sort of been AFKing on the side while I play the other account. And we're not quite going to get 41 by the looks of it. But that was some huge gains right there. Awesome. Alright, I think it's time to start training melee. So we'll grab our black armor and our bronze hatchet, unfortunately. And I think I'm going to head over to the Chaos Druids in the Edgeville Dungeon again, just to see if I can kill them. We'll take our Iron Hatchet and the Two-Handed Sword, just in case we level up. And not to forget the cape. Alright, let's head over to Edgeville. Okay, so I stopped off on the way to the Chaos Druids and I couldn't even kill this mugger or the imp. So I think we're just going to give up on that and head to chickens. So enjoy a quick time lapse of a chicken massacre. That's all I've got for this episode. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.